that uh, we condemn the budget and the finance bill in total and we actually reject it from this platform or reject them from where we start and are asking our members of parliament to hear it, hear the members of the public, listen to what we are telling you. You are elected to represent the people, not to represent the disaster in the name of Ruto. And why do I call him a disaster? He has reduced school feeding program by 2 billion shillings. He has reduced the education budget by 25%. Special education by 35%. The primary education by 20%. We can actually see the return of provincial administration in full swing to the point where the chiefs are now required to ensure that you have complied with your tax requirements. Back to the dark old days. I think it is important to also note that the special protection place our Z has been reduced by 3 billion shillings. We have 16 days to the end of the financial year or something like that and you should be on the lookout for the mother of all times in terms of corruption. The stealing that will happen between now and the end of the financial year it's something that if it was addressed the last financial uh, last uh, time when you were budgeting and reading the finance bill the burden that we have already gone through will not have been occasioned on Kenyans. Why? Because there are very many of the votes that have not been exhausted and they will be doing everything else including buying of shoes and belts to ensure that they exhaust that money. His Excellency has mentioned about our former president. And I think what he was saying in short, what I heard, is that um, in the last financial year, his office had been allocated something like 600 million shillings. Throughout that period, he had only received 28 million shillings. The barons, the barons had also been spent. And he alikuwa na uliza. Nani alikula wa Kenya wa abiwe na wache kuabiwa kwa mba alipatiwa. And why you need a committee to answer such a simple question, it actually helps you to know that Mwizi must be part of that committee or one constituting the committee. And I want to say this, ni manize na kusema. Ya kwamba, this double speak, wale ambao wakona magali, musome vizuri. Dungo jana amesema, if you look at what he read and presented, there is no capping on the hundred on the motor vehicle tax. In this presentation, there is no capping. Ni gine tulikuwa tunasukuchu hapa wa Kenya is what was uh, given a cap of 100,000. So you start working on the cost of your vehicle or the value of your vehicle and uh, know the corresponding amount of money that you need to pay on an annual basis. I think it is not useful anymore. Uh, perhaps to own a car. But I conclude by saying this. Look at the way they abandoned all the improvement on the transport sector, public transport sector. If that had been uh, achieved, uh, many people would choose to use the public transport and avoid buying cars. So you abandon one way and you kill us through the other way. We have a disaster budget, a disaster, a disaster finance bill, and a disaster regime. Or Kenya. Let us send these guys home. Let them be a one-term regime. Na wale ambao wanafikilia ya kwamba utakaa kwa hiyo chimo ya ukora na waze kusanya watu watu wakufuate ukio kwa hiyo chimo ya ukora kwenja ukwenda ukandaganya watu uko kwa village ama pali again. We are not going to be fooled again. And again I want to repeat this. Don't think that when you apologize and say all the other things you are saying we are going to follow you kwa hiyo chimo ya wizi. We are not going to be part of that. This is the alternative, and we are working on it. I thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hey.